Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this grungy halftone types with just few simple steps. It's a really easy process and it's completely procedural. I'm going to walk you through the entire process. So with that said, let's begin. So here are a couple of textures we'll be using for this tutorial. These are just few image assets, nothing else. I've already imported them in After Effects, so let's go. In After Effects, I have made a basic comp with an already text layer inside. If I hit Ctrl K to reveal the comp settings, you can see I renamed it to base text. It's a 1080p comp with 24 FPS and 6 seconds long. So I opened up the text layer and clicked on animate and added a position parameter. Then I went to animator 1, clicked on the property and added a rotation parameter 2. I changed the position and rotation value for these properties. Now if we ram preview, you can see the text isn't moving at all, despite having those properties. It's because we need to assign a selector to it. So for that, I selected the animator 1, then went to add selector wiggly. Now if I do a RAM preview, you can see the alphabets are wiggling around. Now you can go inside this wiggle selector and play with these different parameters to get a different wiggly look. But for this example, I kept it as default. After this, I animated the text using an opacity property. For this, I selected the text again and added an opacity operator. In animator 2, I turned the opacity down to 0. Then open up the range selector and animated the offset from 0 to 100. Now you can see the text is getting revealed, but it's revealing quite smoothly. I wanted it to reveal like fast, it's getting typed on. So for that, I opened up the advanced option and turned the smoothness down to 0. Now you can see how the text is coming to the screen. As far animation goes, this is what I did. Now let's build the rest of it. I created a new composition with same dimensions and timed and renamed it to dot text. I dragged in this base text comp inside it, then dropped in the halftone PNG over it, adjusted its scale, position and rotation, then added it to the comp by using the preserve transparency button. After this, I created another comp and basically repeated the same process, but this time I used a colorful texture over the base text comp. After this, I created another new comp and renamed it line text and dragged in the base text comp inside. Then I went to effect stylize find edges now if i turn the transparency off you can see this stroke around the edges i added a linear color key by going effect keying linear color key and basically keyed the inside color out after this i added a simple choker and set the choke mat to a negative four if i turn this simple choker off you can see how with the negative value it basically thickens the stroke. And as far color goes, we can add a fill effect to recolor it later. I created a new solid layer, then added the fractal noise effect. In the fractal noise settings, I set the contrast to 500, then turned down the complexity to 3. Then in the transform settings, scaled it up to around 150. For the evolution, I added a time expression, which was time times 250. After this, I animated the offset turbulence from left to right. So basically, we have an animated fractal noise, which is growing from left to right. After this, I hide this layer, then added a camera lens blur effect to the base text comp by going effect, blur and sharpen, camera lens blur. In the effect, I changed the blur map to our fractal noise layer. 
and made sure to set it as effects and mask. I increased the blur around 7 and kept everything else as pretty much in its default settings. Now if we take a RAM preview, you can see how it's creating this nice moving blur effect which kind of simulates this ink bleeding on paper look. So now that we have made all of these comps, we can build our final version. After this I created another new comp and renamed it final build. I dragged in this paper texture and added a curve effect and adjusted some of the contrast. Then I dragged in this half tone image and started animating its position, scale and rotation. I looped the keyframes using loop out expression for all of the three parameters. I repeated the same process with this PNG but put it on the top of the composition. Now I dropped in our previously made three text comp inside it. The color one is in the bottom, then the dot text comp, then on the top the line text comp. In the bottom color text comp, I scaled it just a bit so the edges stick out. After this I offsetted the line text comp and added a fill effect to recolor it. For the dot text comp, I added a tint effect and adjusted the color till I was happy with it. After this it's all the regular stuff I do. I added some noise to bind everything together. Then added another curve effect to add a bit more contrast back. I also created a subtle vignette with a curve effect on an adjustment layer. After this another adjustment layer was added with posterized time set to 12. And we're done. So as you can see it's really simple to make and it's completely procedural. So experiment with different colors texture and halftone patterns to make something totally unique from this. This project file is available on my Gumroad page, so if you want to, you can take a look at it. Thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have any questions, please do ask it in the comments. And for more tutorials like this, do consider subscribing to Motion Nerds. Take care of yourself and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye guys.